Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video and if you're into Hux World and today we want to check out the new Google 5.0 keyboard and it's a lot nicer than the original. There's some extra added features in here which is pretty nice so let's go off into this and check it out. So now of course when you do the swipe you get your gesture but when you let go it brings up three other words just in case that one isn't the one you're looking for. So I thought that was pretty neat. Another thing you can do is if you tap on this symbol right here, swipe over to the one-handed mode, it switches the screen, makes it smaller, so you can one-hand type from the right. You tap that arrow there, you can one-hand type from the left. So if you want to expand it back to its natural state, you hit that symbol there, and that's how that works. That's pretty cool, right? So now, let's say you want to backspace. You just slowly swipe over to where you want to go to and start typing. But here's another thing that was added too. You can also swipe the delete button and you can go back as far as you want. Pretty tight. So let's see what else. If I tap here, it brings up pre emojis, gives you a number, gives you some quick symbols uh, as you see right here. But if I tap the number, working from behind the camera here, then I get a whole keypad, which is pretty tight. Uh, very different for a keyboard and I like it thus far. Uh, it has a lot of different functions added into this which is pretty cool. So if you want to get the emojis you can hold down this symbol right here and go where the smiley face is and it'll bring up a array of emojis as well. Okay? Let's take a look at the settings. Now in the settings you got language and if you want to change the active input method for that you can change it to whatever language you want to change it to. Preference. Here we have themes. Now themes you can change this to light as we have it on right now or dark. That's what the dark looks like. Pretty clean. Very nice. Kind of dims it a little bit for you. Not bad. Let's go back because I got some other things to show you. Now we want to cut the show keyboard on. Now see the border, the shaded area around it just gives it a different type of look. Some of you all might like this. It's not bad. This looks a lot cleaner as a keyboard to me. Maybe the other one is easier for people to tap on the letters, but this looks cleaner to me. To me. Now you can also enable or disable long press for the symbols. I don't know why you would cut that off, but you can also change the height of the keyboard. Right now it's at tall, that's mid tall, that's normal, that's mid short. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like short. And that's what short looks like for people with tiny fingers. Okay, me, I'll probably leave it at tall. I got fat thumbs. Okay, let's go back into this. Now, there's some other things you can change. Sound on key press, volume on key press. I think Google added a lot of different features in here that makes it uh, very convenient for the user. Also, we'll go to text correction and you got some things you can enable or disable and like auto capitalization, auto correction. I don't see why you would even change those things. Just leave those enabled. I think everything I would leave just enabled. But I like what Google did with this keyboard, uh, Google 5.0. It's, it's decent. Uh, gesture typing, you can disable these if you want. I don't see why you would, but you can. And you have a dictionary. And you got a personal dictionary. Let's take a look at that. And just English. Let's go back. Add on dictionary. Sync learn words. You can cut that on if you want to. Delete learn words. I don't know why you would do anything like that. And you have advanced. Now, if you want to cut off the emojis, if you don't like emojis, you can enable disable it. Uh, show app icon. Share user status. Now the share snippet says it's automatically share snippets of what and how you type in Google Apps to improve your Google keyboard. So I think you want to keep that enabled. So I'm going to have to give Google thumbs up on this. I think Google did a great job uh, with the redesign of this app for this keyboard. What do you think? If you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please go ahead, subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you at the next video.